All right, Joel. So, Steve, I'm gonna um, just mess around with the flight simulator here. I don't know if you'll be bored or if you'll want to watch this. I'm gonna try to see if I can fly by your house and uh, fly back to the airport. This is uh, the Grosseal Airport. There's two runways here. Actually, there might be three, but there's two that I know of. I think there's two. And I'm just gonna, we're pointed north right now, and we're gonna take off and kind of fly over your house, come back and land. And uh, so I'll switch camera view here to in the airplane. This will look a lot better on your phone if you manually, if you're on YouTube, go to the gear, you can set the resolution to 1080p. It probably defaults to 360, so things will be pretty blurry. Uh, you want 1080p and full screen, it will look much better if you're able to do that. Anyway, I'll put us inside the airplane. Um, I'm also testing my ability to be able to talk, record, fly at the same time and all that. So we're sitting in the airplane. This little thing called a Robin. It's not very powerful or anything. I'm just checking my flap controls here. Alright, so it's got two stages. Fully retracted. 10 degrees and like 40 degrees for really slowing it down. Aileron check. Check the other one. Using the mouse to look around here, sort of. It's not that great, but VR is way better, but uh, the video doesn't come out this good when you do VR. I guess I can't see my tail. That sucks. So there we go. Sort of. So pull back on the elevator. There you go. Can't see the damn rudder. All right. So I'm guessing the, pr the parking brake is probably set. I have no idea. Yeah, off. There we go. Parking brake is not set. So we are facing north and we'll uh, get a takeoff. I have on the hat, on the stick, I can just quickly look over the left wing like that, kind of look around while we're flying. It's poopy, but you know, it is what it is. It's what we got. This thing has like no power. I'm, like lots of right rudder to keep. I don't know if we have a one heck of a crosswind here, but I'm yeah, see the see the wind sack there on the left? I'm pulling a whole shitload of right rudder to keep it on the runway straight. And yeah, it's nasty nasty crosswind here. So we'll take off. <laughs> you don't feel so bad once you're in the air. Yeah, this thing's a putt-putt. doesn't have hardly any power at all. Make sure we got to clear those trees. <laughs> Didn't clear them by much. And if you see the little airplane down there in the ball, that's the turn coordinator. So when you make your turns, you need to apply rudder to keep that in the center. Are you bored yet? Are you, are you, are you? You know, in real life, I think I would have cleared those stacks a long time ago, but... Pull back a little bit here. Get some climb. Barely climbs. And we're not even clear of the stack heights yet. That sucks. This thing's a dog. I don't know that the climb on this is realistic or not. That crosswind is so insane. Anyhow. It's kind of cool. I don't know if I can remember how to see your house or here. I didn't rehearse the flight or anything. That must be 75 down there, so that's going to help us find your house, right? I know Dix Toledo, was it Dix Toledo has that big giant salt thing or whatever. That's probably what that is over there. It's misrepresented. It's not the igloo that it really is. I'm guessing that's what that was.
Okay, I got some airspeed now, so I can maybe finally do my climb out here. I'll follow 75 there a little bit. Yeah, I'm really fighting that crosswind really bad. This thing's a balloon. Balloon ride. So we're just hauling ass down here to your house. I don't know what the heck that field in front of us with all those buildings or whatever is. I also think the trees on this thing are very unrealistic. They're just autogen scenery crap. But this is a far, this is far better than this stuff was years ago. There's the railroad tracks. Um, I don't know if we went down far enough, but no, I don't think so. Those are other railroad tracks. You probably recognize all this crap. Trailer park or something down there, the big ones. Yeah, I don't know my way around here too well. There's a bunch of population. Is that Rockwood or South Rockwood or something? Flat Rock? I don't know. Yeah, I bet your house is uh, over here somewhere. Yeah, there's the park. I think yeah, that's probably the what you call it. No? I guess I'm lost. not my neighborhood from the air, I don't know it, but alright, yeah, there's the quarry or whatever over by your house I think of course there could be more than one quarry, but yeah, so that's probably your yeah, I'll get this sucks, I gotta do another turn around here Sure that's your house down there. I wanted to see the shopping mall that's, you know, kind of by where the police station is and all that. So I'm just going to get get that road on my left wing so we can see what we're flying by. And I hope you're not bored. This is boring to me. It's probably boring to you, but it's also kind of cool and boring. So we'll find your house and head back and land at the airport from the north to the south. The takeoff was kind of weird. You don't normally take off that way, but the crosswind will make it real fun trying to land. The extreme crosswind, yeah. So there's the, maybe that's the shopping place down there. That's that field where Julian or whatever, I'm guessing, where you guys had that thing. I don't know. Might be a little farther down. It's like a parking lot there. Yeah, see the road that goes back and the tennis courts or something? That's that's where you guys had that thing. Alright, so there's the what there's your north here on there. There's the shopping mall parking lot on my left. And there's your straight that and there's the tracks. First set of tracks. I don't see the second set of tracks, so what's going on? Oh, that's the second set of tracks right there, I see it. So we'll kind of pass this, do a left turn, and you'll see your house down there. So that's the second set of tracks. We're going over that whatever the heck silica place. So I'm just going to hang a left turn here. And So that's that apartment across the street from your house right there, off the uh, left wing tip. And then one of those is your house. You can see the guy's yard that has no grass and all that wood or whatever from up here, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, see that, all that crap in the front? That's his house. So that's your house with the tree. There's your garage. There's three cars, four, three cars in the driveway. And there's there's your backyard, sort of under the trees. Can't see the damn pond or whatever it is. Very good. Buried in trees. Overspeed this bitch. Bitch. And we'll do a pass high-speed pass here or whatever. Almost over speed. Not too bad. Alright, we'll haul butt back to the airport. This is kind of like real life, only less scary, a lot more relaxed. Yeah, that crossroad is horrendous. I'm like having to, having to like put a lot of right foot into that rudder just to keep this thing on the way I want it. We're getting slammed by that wind really bad. This thing is doing very, very poorly on the Climb. Sucks. <laughs> I can't get above those stupid chimney stacks. I thought I'd be way above them by the time I came back. See the white arc over there? That's probably stall speed at the bottom of it. I need a lot more rudder. Straight and flatten it out. More rudder. That's performing very bad. That's stall speed right there. I think we're just barely above those stacks right now. If we're not, we're going to hit them. I'm trying to get a little bit better altitude before I come around to land. We're at about, as you can see there, 1,200 feet above sea level, which is like 500 feet above the ground. All right, see if I can get a gentle turn going here without losing altitude or speed. Landing is going to be rough in this wind. We've got a little bit of extra airspeed now. Alright, so the runway is way over there. So I'm going to head for the river here and then make sort of a left to it. Yeah, we're higher than those stacks now. We're not flying back over them, so who cares? But we're we did get some altitude. So there's our runway on the left, all the way to the edge by the trees. So there's two runways here, and that thing that goes across just a big, big giant taxiway, tarmac, and all that stuff. So setting up for our landing here. 
come a little further before we make our left. All right, about right about now we can make our left, loosen throttle, let it come down. You see those lights off the runway? That's if we're on like a, what they call a stabilized approach. That tells you if you're too high or too low. If they're all red, you're too low. If they're all white, you're too high. So, so cut this throttle way back. Bring in a little bit of flaps. We're gonna come in a little high, just a little bit more throttle, and I'll throw in uh, I'll throw in all the flaps. That should be all the flaps, I think. Yeah, it's slowing down. Yep. Now we got that crosswind real bad. It's like so we're coming in on kind of a weird angle because of that wind. We're keeping the airspeed up so we don't stall on the wind. So I'm just kind of aiming for the bars there to land, to touch down there where those bars are. Yeah, this wind sucks. We're, see, now we're too low. <laughs> Just let it, letting it come on in, it's going to hit. So off the throttle, pull back a little bit on the nose, it'll settle on. Yeah, that's wind's pushing us really bad even on the ground. It's still flying while we're on the ground with all that wind. All right, get some brakes in there. And we'll taxi off the runway. Hope you enjoyed that crap. That will be all for now. I'm not gonna like make you watch a taxi video back to the parking lot. But I will show you such I'll show you such shutdown as if we were in the parking lot. So, parking brake on, right? And then, that's the throttle. We're already at idle. This should be the mixture over here on the left. No, why, oh, this is like two, two throttle, two pilot, I've never seen two throttle controls before, but this one has it. So this red should be the fuel mixture. This is how you normally shut these down. So, full lean on the rich, on the, full lean on the mixture, it goes out. Turn off the mags. Mags are off. And then this is just the, uh, that's the alternator. And there's usually an avionics master. Fuel pump off. Um, I don't know if this has an avionics master. It just turns off all the radio stuff. I don't see it. So main battery switches here that turns everything off. That's it. What you still hear in here is a little bit of noise and this one probably has vacuum gyros that are still spinning for a while after you turn off the electricity or whatever. That's it man. Catch you later. Bye.